I chose this week's question because it's something I stumbled over when I was trying to figure out how to do it as well. So they're asking, how can I place a wall on the core of the floor and not on the surface of it? Let's go ahead and jump over to the software and I'll show you how easily this can be done. So I've started a new project from scratch and I just want to throw in a floor and a wall to show you what the default relationships of components look like. So there's a floor. I'm going to change the type of it to something that has components, so some finished materials. I'll go into the structure real quick and show you the only finish is 3 quarter inch wood flooring. And you can control those, of course. Now that we have our floor, I'll jump over to my walls and we'll place just a couple walls, generic walls are fine, right on top of this thing. So the default relationship that I get between these two components is that the wall basically sits right on top of the floor, finished material and everything. And that's just uh, in relation to uh, the elevation or the level that I'm working on. So let's go ahead and drop a section mark through the building and not one on an angle. I'll delete that one and let's do another one that's straight. And I'll open up that section so we can see exactly the relationship between the wall and the floor. I'm going to change my detail level to fine, half inch equals a foot, and zoom in. So the wall sits on top of that finished floor material. We can see that very clearly. Now really from any view, you can select the wall, come up to your modify options, hit attach, and then this is the catch right here on the options bar, change it from top to base. Now when you select the floor, it goes ahead and cuts through those finished materials and it's created a relationship between the wall and the floor. That means that if the level changes or if the floor changes in location, then that wall is going to maintain that relationship. So if we switch back to 3D, you can see that only one of the walls is attached. So there's the difference between the two. So that's it. That basically sums up how you would attach a wall to the core structure of the floor and actually have it cut through those finished materials. Thanks so much for watching.